If you've ever wondered how eBay sellers are able to make $10,000 per month in sales, that's what I'm going to be showing you in today's video. Let's get right into it. What's going on people? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Sam. I'm a full-time seven-figure eBay and Shopify seller. In today's video, what I'm going to be doing is going through the most important things that you need to be aware of if you're looking to start making over $10,000 per month in sales on eBay. These are the things that I had to learn for me to be able to become a full-time eBay seller and I'm going to be giving it to you guys for free. So as always, I don't want to waste any more time and I want to jump straight into it. So if you find any value in the video at any point, don't forget to press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit the bell notification so that YouTube can let you know when I release a new video let's not waste any more time let's get right into it so after talking to a lot of my students or a lot of the people in my instagram dms i've come to realize that a lot of people don't actually realize how possible it is to make over ten thousand dollars per month on ebay and this is the first thing that you need to have if you are looking to build a business on ebay you need to have the belief that it's actually possible many years ago when i first realized that i could open up a business on ebay the thing that held me back for such a long time was me believing that i was only going to be able to make one thousand dollars per month two thousand dollars per month but as soon as i realized that there was people out there making over $20,000 per month, over $50,000 per month, just on eBay. That's when I realized that there was a chance for me to actually make a lot of money and leave my full-time job and actually build a business that I actually wanted to build. So for anyone out there that's looking to build a business on eBay, the first thing that you need is the belief that it's actually possible. And once you do have the belief that building a business on eBay is possible and making over $10,000 per month is also possible, that's when you're now gonna start to realize things fall in place. So if we look at this business right here, which is called Aqua Cadabra, and they sell things for fish, you know, it says it in the name and it also says it in their slogan right there fish keeping with a touch of magic this is one of the largest ebay stores on ebay at the moment and what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy their username just like this and then i'm going to head over to zeke analytics and i'm going to show you how much money this ebay store has made in the last 30 days all right so i've pasted their username right there and zeke analytics is able to show us that they've made almost 200,000 pounds which is almost around 250,000 dollars in the last 30 days from this one ebay store when i started using softwares like this to double check how much my competition was making in the last 30 days or in the last 90 days Days, I was able to now realize that I could build a business. So if you are looking to build a fish business on eBay, then this should give you some sort of hope to know that, you know, if a company out there can make almost 200,000 pounds in the last 30 days, then you should be able to make 10,000 pounds, 20,000 pounds, 30,000 pounds. This goes to show that people are spending money on fish products. Now, of course, you guys may not want to start a fish business on eBay, but you can use Zeke Analytics to double check whatever company you want to double check. And if you do want to sign up to Zeke Analytics, you can use the link down below in my description for a seven day trial. So right now you're probably asking yourself, Sam, it's all great to know that this company has made 200,000 pounds in the last 30 days, but how can that help me exactly? Well, the way that it can help you is by looking at exactly how they've been able to do it. And there's three main things that I've noticed over my years of selling on eBay. The first thing that you can try and do is brand your eBay store. Now, when it comes to branding your store, you're essentially going to be giving it an identity so that customers that visit your eBay store know exactly what products you're selling. They know exactly what you specialize in. So if we jump back into the laptop, up quickly we can see on their ebay store they've obviously branded their store with a logo and a banner so that any customer that passes through this ebay store automatically knows that this company sells products for fishes so you're not necessarily going to come to this store if you want to buy something for your dogs or if you want to buy something for your garden you're specifically going to come to this store for your fish products and if i did have a fish i would definitely trust this company because as we can see they've got all of these different products that are focused on fish tanks and various things for fishes and they're giving me the impression straight away just by looking at their store that they're a specialist with this particular niche and a lot of people always come to me whenever I make these type of videos or whenever I talk about branding your eBay store and they ask me Sam do I really need to focus on a specific niche and to be honest with you you can definitely still have luck on eBay with selling general products you don't necessarily need to focus on a specific niche but the only reason why I come on here and teach that you should focus on selling in a particular niche is because that's what I've done most of my eBay stores I've got around three eBay stores now and they're all focused around a specific niche but then again I've also seen people have a lot of success with selling general products so it all depends on what you're comfortable doing i prefer to build a store and build a brand around a specific niche because when people come across my store they're going to believe that i'm a specialist for that product and it's not only that they're going to believe that i'm a specialist i'm actually going to become a specialist for those products because i'm going to be contacting suppliers within that niche i'm going to be contacting various different suppliers asking various different questions solely focused on one niche so over time i am going to become a specialist and this is how you need to be when it comes to building any business 
business, not just a business on eBay, any business that you plan on building, it's always good to focus on a specific niche with whatever online business you're going to do so that people can come to you specifically for that one thing. And that's exactly what this company's done. If I just click into one of their listings so that we can have a look at how they've structured their store, we can see that this particular product is getting 90 views per day and they've sold over 146 different units. But if I scroll down, we can see that they are using a custom listing template with their logo at the top right here. So as soon as a customer visits their store, they're gonna see their logo. And then all of these different icons right here show where it says fast and free delivery, 60 day easy returns, excellent value. So they've definitely structured their listing in a way that they're definitely going to be able to convert a non-paying customer into a paying customer because they've put the time and the effort to make sure that their listing looks professional. They've put all of these different headings right here about us, shipping, terms, returns. So these are the things that you need to do when it comes to building up your eBay store, try and give it a professional look, try and brand it in the right way so that when customers come on it, they trust that you're the person that they should buy from. So the next thing that you guys need to be aware of is eBay SEO, which stands for search engine optimization. If you're not aware, eBay is a search engine similar to Google. When someone goes there, tap something in, results pop up. You wanna be able to be at the top of the search results. Now there's various different ways that you can end up at the top of the search results, but the basic way is to make sure that you're putting as many keywords in your actual listing as possible so that whenever someone searches for a product in the eBay search bar, your listing comes up first. So let's say for example, I'm a customer, I've just come here, I've tapped in fish tank pump, I'm gonna click on search. And as you guys can see, the Aquacadabra product that we was looking at comes up first, even though there's over 16,000 different results for fish tank pump. So this goes to show that they're also doing eBay SEO. So I'm gonna link a video at the end where I break down exactly everything you need to know about eBay SEO, but it's not just about eBay SEO that has allowed them to be at the top of the search results. It's also due to the fact that they offer free postage. This is what you wanna do with all of your listings. You need to include the postage price into the actual price that the customer is going to pay. They've also put a subtitle. So I like to put subtitles in my listing because when you put something that costs a little bit of extra money per month, subtitles cost around around two pounds every single month per listing. When you put something that costs extra money, eBay is more likely to rank it higher in the eBay search results because you're gonna be giving them money every single month as long as that listing is around. So that's something you need to consider. That's just a theory that I've had over the years. It may be true, it may not be true. It's not a fact, but it's just something that I like to do with my listings. We can also see that they're a top rated seller. And as you guys know, on this channel, I always talk about becoming a top rated seller because if you are able to maintain a top rated seller status with your listings, you're gonna be able to get pushed to the top of the eBay search results because eBay is going to see you as a trusted seller that's going to provide a good service to their customers. And finally, the most important thing that you need to make sure that you do from the beginning is pick the right product to sell. Now, there's so many different ways that you could do product research, but one of the ways that I like to do it is find a store on eBay that is selling the same products that I want to, or at least has built a business similar to what I want on eBay. And then I simply jump back over to Zeke Analytics. So let's stick with the example of Aquacadabra for now. What you can also do with Zeke Analytics is that you can scroll down and it shows you the highest performing products in the last 30 days. So again, if you do wanna start some sort of fish business on eBay, you can sell this product here. They've been selling it since 2012. And in the last 30 days, they've been able to sell 169 of this particular product. So what you will do is that you will simply click into the actual listing just like that. And as we can see, they've sold over 18,556. Again, I know nothing about fish, but if I was looking to start a fish store on eBay, I would definitely look at selling goldfish flake food because it seems like it's been their highest performing product since 2012, which is almost 10 years now. And then from that point, what I would do is I'll just come back here and I'll look at all of their highest performing products because Zeke Analytics has already sorted it from highest to lowest. So we can see that the next highest performing product is this one right here. And they've been selling this one since 2011. So this is one of the best tools when it comes to finding winning products to sell on your eBay store, in my opinion. Don't forget, if you wanna sign up to Zeke Analytics, seven day trial, link in my description. So these are the basic things that you need to be aware of if you're looking to build a successful business on eBay. You need to have the belief that it's possible. If you don't have belief, then you're not going to be able to achieve that thing. You then need to find a winning product and you also need to be happy to sell that winning product. You can't just see that fish food is selling well and then say, okay, I'm going to start selling fish food. As you guys just saw, this seller has been selling fish food since 2012. So you need to make sure that you pick a product that you're going to be happy to sell over the long run. You then need to learn everything there is about branding your company. This is one of the most important things when it comes to building 
building an identity online. And then finally, you need to learn everything there is about eBay SEO. I'm going to link a video above where I break down everything that you guys need to know when it comes to having the highest chance of ranking your listing at the top of the eBay search results. So make sure you watch that video after you finish watching this video. And if you want to watch a video where I break down my backstory of how I went from zero to $3,000 per day in sales on eBay, then click the first link in my description or in the pinned comment down below. But if you found any value in the video, guys, don't forget to press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe whilst you're down there. Hit the bell notification so that YouTube can let you know when I release a new video. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.